Good morning, Abby. It's Monday, and you may be wondering why you can't see my face right now. Due to the content of this particular video, I feel like I need to present a lot of visual aids in order for anything that I'm saying to even remotely make sense, so I figured it would just be easier to do the video like this. And honestly, I've always been curious to try and make a video in this format, so for today, we're gonna try this, and if it's awful and y'all hate it, then I promise I will never do it again. Also, I know I said that my next video was going to be a review of Oathbringer, but that book has put me through so much emotional pain that I don't think I would be able to coherently arrange my thoughts for a video, so we're just gonna, like, not do that. Sorry. Alright, with that out of the way, who wants to learn about music theory? No one? Just me? Well, too bad! So one night, I was bored, and when I get bored, my brain subconsciously challenges itself to find the nerdiest thing it can possibly devote its energy to. This particular time, my brain started wondering about all those videos on YouTube of people converting peppy songs into minor keys, and I became weirdly curious about what Call Me Maybe would sound like in a minor key. And like, I don't even particularly like the original version of Call Me Maybe, so I have no idea where this came from. But my brain wanted to know now, so now I had to go and figure out how to make Call Me Minor a reality. Since there are online transposers for major keys, I assumed I would be able to just look up the chords, plop them into a transposer, and be done with the thing, but I couldn't find any that actually transposed from major to minor, so I was going to have to go about this manually, which meant actually learning what minor keys are. And that's when I realized why transposing between major and minor is so hard. Ladies and gentlemen, there are actually two ways to transpose from major to minor, because there are two types of minor keys, but all of the minor keys are somehow both types at the same time, because what, like, how you classify it is dependent on what major key it came from, what the heck did I just say? The first type of minor key is called a relative minor, and if you've ever been in high school choir, solo, and ensemble, you already know what this is without knowing it. So we all know how the solfege works, right? Like the, the do, re, mi, like it's, we all saw the sound of music, we know how that works. That, friends, is a major scale. However, at solo and ensemble, when they ask for a natural minor scale, they have you sing two notes down from do to la, and then sing up. La ti do re mi fa so la so fa mi re do ti la. That is called a relative minor scale. Congratulations. Every major scale has a relative minor. To find it first, you just take the major scale. Call Me Maybe is written in the key of G major, or at least that's what Wikipedia tells me, so its scale looks like this. Then you take the sixth note of that scale, the La Solfege, in our case it's E, and you make that the tonic, or first, note. And that is all you do. You don't change any sharps, or flats, or whatever, that's literally all you have to do. You now have yourself an E minor scale, hallelujah, except relative minors are actually stupidly complicated to transpose. If I wanted to transpose Call Me Maybe into E minor, then I would have to go through and turn every single G in the song into an E, every A into an F, every B into a G, and so on and so forth, and then also do that for all the notes to make up the chords on my ukulele, which would probably result in me having to play some really whack chords, and overall, transposing into a relative minor is just really complicated and frustrating, and I suggest you avoid doing so if you value your sanity. The other type of minor is called a parallel minor, which means that the minor scale and the major scale have these same tonic note, and which thus means that they're named after that note. So for Call Me Maybe's G major, its parallel minor would be G minor. Transposing between parallel minors seems more difficult on a surface level, but trust me, this is much simpler than mucking with the relative minor would be, so I suggest you use parallel minors if you want to try this at home, but I mean, I'm not your mom, you do you. To make a parallel minor, first you just take the major scale, then you lower the third and sixth notes by a half step. In this case, those notes are B and E, so in G minor, they will become B flat and E flat. And now we have the ever tricky seventh note. So if you choose to flat the seventh note, you will be transposing into what they call a natural minor key. 
but if you leave the seventh note as is, you will be in a harmonic minor key. When transposing between major and minor, different songs sound better in natural or harmonic, so you might want to play around with this and see which key you think sounds better for that particular song you're playing. For the record, when I did this, I did choose to flat the seventh note, so F sharp became F, but F sharp only appears once in one of the chords, so it really doesn't matter that much, I just did it for the sake of variety, because if I hadn't flatted that note, then one chord would have remained completely the same, and that's boring. Alright, now that you've got yourself a scale, you gotta get to transposing. So I used some probably bootlegged sheet music to figure out what notes the original song's vocal part used, and then I went through and flatted all of the appropriate notes. In this case, there weren't any F sharps used, and E is used like once, but holy freaking crap did I have to change a lot of Bs into B flats. What is your obsession with the letter B, Carly? Next, I had to transpose the chords I was playing on my ukulele. Because Call Me Maybe is an uninspired, capitalistic, egregious pop song that's beloved in America for some reason, it uses the four chords progression throughout, which in the key of G is G, E minor, C, and D. I had to find the individual notes I was playing in these chords, flat all appropriate notes, and then consult the internet to find out what these new chords even were. So, instead of G, E minor, C, D, we now have G minor, E flat, C minor, and D minor. Or if you did a harmonic in scale instead, then D would just stay the same. Bad, bad. And now, with all of this work having been done, you get this. I flew a wish in the well. Don't ask me, I'll never tell. I look to you as it fell. And now you're in my way, I beg and borrow and steal, had foresight and it's real, I didn't know I could feel it, but now it's in my way, your stare was holding it. Jean skin was showing hot night wind was blowing where do you think you're going baby hey i just met you and this is crazy but here's my number so call me maybe and all those other boys while well, they try to chase me but here's my number so call me maybe before you came into my life i missed you so bad i missed you so bad i missed you so so bad before you came into my life i missed you so bad and you should know that hey i just met you and this is crazy but here's my number so call me maybe it's hard to look right at you baby but here's my number so call me maybe So, um, yeah, that, that, that is how to transpose between major and minor keys. Uh, Abby, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life anymore, and I will see you on Friday.